welcome to having fun with chemical formulas. In this activity we're going to look at how we build world equations. The next two activities after that will be building chemical equations and finishing off with balancing equations. Now basically a word equation is a simplification as to what is happening in the reaction. Just like you might do in maths, um, an algebraic equation, in chemistry we use word equations. Now, to build up the word equation, it's made up of two parts. On one side, the left-hand side, we always put the reactants. These are the ingredients, what we add to the reaction to make it work. On the right-hand side, we put the products. So that is what's formed after the reaction. These are joined by an arrow. Now, the arrow can replace words such as makes, produces, comes from, forms, etc. If we have more than one reactant or more than one product, we then just put a plus sign. Now the plus sign means and or is added to or forms with etc etc. Okay, so there's four main things that you need to be aware of. Reactants on the left hand side, arrow joins them, products on the right hand side, and then a plus sign goes between each of the reactants or products if we've got more than one. So down below you can see how we put it together. Reactants on the left hand side, products on the right hand side, and the arrows in between. So to formulate a word equation, all we need to do is to find what things did we put together to make the reaction. They will make up our reactants. Then in the, in the question we need to find out what was produced. They are our products. Now often we can also write the state at which the reactants and products are in. This becomes useful as we move higher up through our chemistry. Now there are four main states that we deal with. The first state is symbolized with a little s. This is, means that the um, chemical was in a solid form. And L is a liquid and this is only given to water. And AQ means aqueous or a solution. And finally, a little g as a gas. Now, these states are placed in brackets almost as a subscript after the word. So, for example, if I'm using magnesium metal, I'll put magnesium, and then in a little set of brackets, I'll put an s afterwards. This means it's solid magnesium. Okay, so that's all the theory. Let's have a look at how we put it together. So, in this example, we've got some magnesium metal, which has being combined with hydrochloric acid in the test tube. The reaction produces a gas and a salt solution. Now the gas is hydrogen and the salt solution is magnesium chloride. At this stage we are not going to look at trying to determine what happens. This will come later on when you get onto reactions. In this case we are given the reactants and we're given the products and you just have to formulate the word equation. Okay, so this is the way we do it. The first thing we need to do is to identify the reactants. So we look up in the example and try and find what were the things were put together at the beginning. Well, if we look closely, we can see, and these will be underlined in blue, that its magnesium metal was joined with hydrochloric acid. Then we have to find what our products are. Now our products are what was formed. As you can see, it says the reaction produced. So this is going to tell us where, what our products are. We've got hydrogen gas and we've got the salt magnesium chloride. Okay, so the next step is to pull these down. So we pull the um, re reactants down, the magnesium and the hydrochloric acid. They go on the left hand side. Then an arrow, which shows that when these combine, they produce and the products are hydrogen and magnesium chloride. And then we put a plus between them because there's more than one. The final thing we need to do is to put the state down. So it says magnesium metal. Well, this was a solid state. We know that hydrochloric acid is a solution, so we put an AQ state. Hydrogen is a gas, and magnesium, again, is a solution, because it says it in the, in, the, um, in the example. So now we have produced a correct word equation. It's that simple. OK, so now. Have a go at practicing these um, skills by doing activity 10. This will take you through a variety of different reactions. All you have to do is to follow the process as shown above. 
OK, join me for the next activity where we're going to talk about how we turn this into a chemical equation. Thank you for listening.